Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super giddy and super excited because I feel like this is something we here on YouTube don't get to say as much as we would like. At least I know I would like. It's time for a Teddy Bees haul. I know, right? I feel like because Teddy Bees is so popular and so hyped and Tiffany, the owner, has such great blends that whenever it's time for a pre-order, like, everybody's hyped, we all place our orders, and then we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and we wait, and it's fine. I get so many orders in during that time, but when you open a Teddy Bees box, it just makes you so happy. And I personally love Teddy Bees. Now I will say, I love her blends. I'm still working on getting the right, the right amount of wax to use in my warmers, which warmers to use, all that, to really figure out everything that I want Teddy Bees to be for me. But I did reorder some favorites in this pre-order. This pre-order was from, I believe, January, so it was a nine-week turnaround time. I know Tiffany was working by herself for most of this, so I give her so much credit and grace for just creating another incredible, incredible pre-order. Now, she will be opening for a ready-to-ship on April 16th, so not this Friday, next Friday. So definitely keep an eye on her Facebook group, which is Teddy Bees. And yeah, so super excited for that. Stuff flies really fast. Typically it's over pours of the pre-order and sometimes she does offer some extras too. So without further ado, let's dive into my Teddy Bees box. As always, you get a little sample in your order, and mine is in The Long Night. And this is Cocoa Butter, Cashmere, Tonka, Oud Wood, and Marshmallow Fireside. So I'm just going to pry it out of there. This is nice. It's not a favorite. Cocoa Butter, Cashmere is something that I'm, I'm fairly new in wax. It all really kind of just smells like, like, a, like a body cream to me. This reminds me of a Lush body cream. One of the massage bars. Is it the Therapy Massage Bar? It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. It's a, like a smoky, creamy, woody, like, body care lotion scent. So it's not a favorite, but I definitely will give that some cure time and melt them. Now, Tef, Tef, Tiffany, Teddy Bees, Tiffany, Teddy Bees, she offers three different forms. She offers the loaf. She offers the souffle, and then brand new for this pre-order, she offered the 8-ounce tubs. I remember whenever they, I first saw these and I was like, oh, they look like little potato salad containers. And they still do, but they are 8 ounces, and this replaced her chunk bags because with production only being her, she really wanted to be able to pour um, faster. So, totally understand that. But anyway, I'll start with the loaves and work my way down. I got two loaves, I tried to behave myself, and I got two incense I've had before, and I really enjoy on cold. I have not warmed them, but I, I love the way that they smell. So the first is Witches Be Crazy. This is such a popular blend from her. This is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. And these loaf bags are so thick. I love the bags. And this is so good. This is just a very creamy pumpkin pecan waffles. And this was poured on March 13th. The pour date is down here. She does have new labels, which I love. Oh yeah, this is just a very creamy birthday cake version of pumpkin pecan waffles. I wish I got more of the touch of cinnamon spice vanilla, but I do have cinnamon spice vanilla candles. It'd be nice to maybe burn that while I melt this, but oh yeah. I cannot wait in the new house to start melting this one because this, it's fire. Now, this may be my favorite Teddy Bee's blend that I've tried so far. This is Tiff's favorite bakery. This is blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle comb. Blackberry jam butter cookies, to me, mostly comes across like perfumey for the most part, but this one... This smells like the richest waffle cone cookie hybrid. It, it reminds me of a, of a like a shortbread cookie, but 
you smell the waffle cone, like the butteriness of the butter, of the butter, the butteriness of the butter. The butteriness of the waffle cone, a hint of that shortbread, but then it has such a rich homemade blackberry jam inside of it. I could inhale this bag all day. I love this scent, and it's just a, like a purple loaf with some gold glitter. I, yeah, I cannot get enough. Tiff's Favorite Bakery is one of my favorites, and I have a chunk bag of it, so I'm happy to have a loaf. Now, moving on to the souffles, I did get a good bit of the souffles, because I find that eight ounces is like the sweet spot for me for melting. Um, it's just, it's enough that I can get multiple worms out of. So the first one is Khaleesi. She offered a lot of her like classic cult favorites in this pre-order, which I really loved. So I definitely wanted to try them. And Khaleesi is Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Oudwood, Worm Vanilla Sugar, and Fireside. And it looks like this. It's gray with some like red uh, drizzle. This is really nice. It's a very smoky Palo Santo. Now, I remember in the last pre-order, it was, um, I remember she, like, or ready to ship, something happened where she, like, added extra smoky to it. I didn't get that, but I am very curious about what that one was like, because this definitely has more of a rich campfire smoke to it. It's really pretty, though. It's really pretty. I don't get much warm vanilla sugar. It really smells like the oud wood and the Palo Santo, which... I assume the oud wood, being that I've smelled oud on its own too, it's very smoky. So, blended with the Palo Santo, I really like that. If you're a smoky lover, I think you would really like that one. The next we have is the Queen's Dowry, and this is strawberry pound cake, toasted marshmallow, and pecan waffles. I love strawberry pound cake. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. This is another one. I might need to order in a loaf on this ready to ship because it is so good. And this is hot pink with like a cream drizzle. So good. Again, her pumpkin pecan waffles is so yummy. And I was watching Nicole Perry's videos. I watched a bunch of her Teddy Bees hauls just because her voice is super soothing to me. And I really wanted to watch and see what she likes because she's a big Teddy Bees fan. And she said something that I find really true too for myself. Her strawberry pound cake truly smells like pound cake. Like with with strawberries on top, you really get that yellow pound cake. And I feel like that is really true in this one. You smell that strawberry pound cake and the pumpkin pecan waffles. The toasted marshmallow, I think, just adds a bit of sweetness to it. But otherwise, those blended together, really, really, really good. Now this one is I Heart Vanilla Blackberry. She did not offer my I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples in this pre-order. I hope it comes in the next time she offers that in a pre-order. No joke, I'm getting two or three loaves. I love that scent and I'm not like the big apple fan. Like if it has apple, I need to have it, but I loved it. So I ordered the I Heart Vanilla Blackberry to see if it has that same like I Heart Vanilla oil or if it's the oil that I really like from her. And this is creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, boardwalk marshmallow, and juicy blackberries. Love the color on this one too. It's purple with some like purple glitter. This is pretty. The blackberry in here is definitely a very juicy blackberry. And I actually smelled this earlier whenever it first came in with the I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples to see if I can really tell what that vanilla is. The vanilla in here is very creamy, like vanilla milkshake, like it says in the notes. It is like a very rich, almost like a homemade ice cream base vanilla milkshake. It's to die for. And the blackberry in here adds juiciness to it. So it's almost like a really rich vanilla milkshake with fresh blackberries on top. I really am impressed with this one. Speaking of impressed, this one is Milk and Cookies. This is one I would never have ordered on its own because I'm like, mm, Milk and Cookies sounds kind of boring or basic. But creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, and buttery cookie dough. Everybody raves about how great this one is. So I'm like, okay, I have to try it. It is so good. Now, 
There is a hint of that sugar milk note that in here that I don't love, but blended with the sugar cookie dough, this smells like like truly you stuck your head in a bowl of sugar cookie dough that used the finest ingredients, like the richest vanilla, the richest cookie oil, like everything and anything. It is such a rich cookie. That's really all I can say. It's a really rich sugar cookie. I am also very impressed with this. I Teddy B's, her blends are just so incredible, and I, I, I'm one, I'm worried about the throw, but all I know is I will have a bedroom, two bedrooms in my new apartment with closed doors, so I can always put some in there, close the doors, and really get the scent. Satsumas and Linen. This is Satsuma Mandarin Bergamot Exotic Fruits and Fresh Linen. I was excited about this because I really enjoy Satsuma, but I feel like I don't have enough in my life. And I also don't have enough laundry in my life. And this is so good. This, to me, I was talking to my friend Natalie on the phone, is the first Satsuma scent I've smelled where Satsuma is not the dominant note. But it's in here and it's noticeable and it's detectable. Satsuma and Laundry, I feel like, are two oils that no matter what they're in a blend, you can detect them. They're strong. They're powerhouses. But they're blended so well in here. I picture, and I told her this too on the phone, a spring morning, you just washed your sheets, it's a lazy day, you're not leaving the house, you put this in your bedroom. And that's it. Like you have shears on your blinds. Maybe you have the windows open so there's just a breeze. And I feel like if somebody walked into your bedroom and this was going, they would be like, it just smells incredible in here. It's the Satsumas and Linen. It's really, really pretty. Next we have Escobar. And this is Beach Treats, which is her Beach Nights and Palo Santo. I have been loving Beach Nights lately loving it and this blue yeah beach nights is like toasted marshmallows and salty sea air blended together so like roasting marshmallows on the beach and i'm not a huge beach scented person beach nights is my favorite beachy type scent it's not coconut it's not anything crazy like that and mixed with the palo santo it is heavenly 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 it's such a rich toasty marshmallow blended with just the right amount of Palo Santo where it's not overwhelming. Oh, I love that Tiffany does a lot of Palo Santo blends. And her Palo, at least in this one, is more like perfumey, very fresh and crisp, which I love. Next, we have Milk of the Poppy. Now, this one I was both intrigued with. Almost dropped it. I'm more intrigued with and also very curious. This is Palo Santo and the richest creamy vanilla. I smell this. It just smells like fresh Palo. I don't really get much vanilla. I get very, very creamy Palo Santo, which I guess maybe would make sense that it's vanilla mixed with it, but I feel like this is a sleeper. This is March 12th. I feel like after a good long cure time, and whenever you put heat to this, I think the vanilla will really shine through. At least I really hope, because I really like that Palo Santo blend. Moving right along into another cult favorite that I was very excited to try, Sundresses and Lemonade. Fresh ozone and air, roses, jasmine, lavender, vanilla, melon, sugared lemon, and a fizzy twist. I didn't know what to expect from this, and I smelled this. And I still don't know what to expect. I Now that I smell it a little bit more, in the slightest way, it reminds me of the frozen bath bomb from Lush, which is like neroli, but there's not neroli in here. To me, it is definitely floral. It's a spring white floral. I don't get fizzy, like fizzy pop, really dominant in here. I can almost... If I smell it really crazy, it almost reminds me of if you got like a Sprite and then whenever they brought it to you, you're like, uh, is your carbonation machine wrong? This is like flat. So it doesn't have really barely any combina car carbonation to it, but the blend of it, it's really, really nice. It's a very nice white floral. 
and I can see why people really like this for the spring especially. I I really, really hope I I might order another tub of it just so I can hold on to it because I think that will be another really nice bedroom scent for the spring. It's really pretty. I'm kicking myself for only ordering this in a tub because I have it in a chunk bag from the last pre-order and I love it. I'm like, why if I loved it did I order it just in another tub? It's trickin' and treatin'. This is pink sugar and blue sugar, so she calls it purple sugar, boardwalk marshmallow and vanilla cake pops. Now I said this in my original video, the Starbucks birthday cake pop. The pink one with the white jimmies on top or sprinkles wherever you're from here in Pittsburgh. It's jimmies. It smells like a true like cake pop. And I don't know if it's because the pink sugar and the blue sugar balance each other out so well. I don't really get a ton of blue sugar. I really get just like it smells like the Starbucks birthday cake pop. Like that true, really insanely rich birthday cake mixed with frosting. It is incredible. Ugh. I I need to get a loaf of this in the in the ready to ship. Like I need to. I need to sit down and make a really, really, really good list so I know exactly what I want and go for it with fast fingers next Friday because I need to try that and I need it in bigger quantities. Now, this is Dua More. Now, I ordered this because of the trickin' and treatin'. It's creme brulee, vanilla cream, and vanilla cake pops. But I will say, it's probably my least favorite of this order. I don't know what it is. I don't know, it, it, the creme brulee just doesn't come across. I'm trying to like get it out of the tin. I, I don't know. The creme brulee kind of is leaning towards, like, plasticky. I, I don't know. I, I'm definitely... This one was poured on the 19th of March. So almost a month ago. I don't know. I just... I, I am not thrilled with this. I'll be curious to watch videos and see if anybody else got do more, what they think. But right now, I'm not in love. But it's okay. It's the only one I don't love here. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's the creme brulee that's like leaning towards like plasticky. I don't know. It's nice, it's just not a favorite. I have to, I have to definitely let that one sit and melt it. The Hamptons. Now this one, I went in thinking, I don't know if I'm going to love it or not. I did order in a souf, in a, in a bigger souffle just because I wanted to try it. And it's watermelon lemonade type, salty sea air, and crisp linen. I do not care for watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works. It just smells like watered down lemonade. Like, I, I don't know what it is. It just, it's not my candle. But this is raved about so much, I knew I just had to try it. And I'm so glad I did. The watermelon lemonade is in here. I can tell it's watermelon lemonade, Bath and Body Works type. However, salty sea air blended with it, it is so pretty. And the crisp linen, I mean, it is so nice. It is like the most beautiful spring day where you're drinking a lemonade, but it definitely is the most realistic watermelon scent. You know how watermelon comes across Jolly Rancher and maybe, I mean, it doesn't come across Jolly Rancher in the candle, so it is the type, but almost the salty sea air and the crisp linen sort of creates this entire mood that you are sitting on a spring day, sipping lemonade, eating watermelon. It's a beautiful day. You have shorts and a t-shirt on. The kids are playing. And it's just a really great day in the Hamptons. I, I really, really like that one. And last of the 8-ounce souffles is cinnamon toast and coffee bean a la mode. Now, this is a layered souffle. So the top is cinnamon toast which is brown sugar, cinnamon, buttery pastry dough, vanilla buttercream, layered with coffee bean ice cream, vanilla waffle cone, whipped cream, and caramel. So I'm going to take this out, smell the top. Now it's funny, I'm smelling the top, but I'm getting coffee. I, you know, but I can tell it's cinnamon because when I flip this over, I already did this earlier. May, wait, maybe not because now the bottom... This smells like cinnamon toast, the bottom, totally. I can totally tell the like edges are peeling off. 
That is so good. It, it's melting in my fingers. But, um, yeah. It smells like authentic cinnamon toast. Like, when you take your toast, you take it out of the toast, you put butter, and you put cinnamon sugar on it. And the coffee is a really rich, like, almost espresso. That's really pretty. <sighs> this is another one I might need. I don't know if I'll need a loaf in it. I might get another 8-ounce souffle, but... That's really, really, really pretty. Really like that. All right, so now I have five of her regular little souffles. The first one is in blueberry lemon cheesecake. Now, creamy cheesecake, blueberries, vanilla buttercream, lemon zest, and sugar cookies. Now, on first sniff when I smell this, I don't care for this. I don't know what it smells like. It's not toothpaste, but it's definitely something, it's like this yellow with blue swirl. It's definitely something like, not fluoride, I can't tell, cleaner? I, I don't know. It's definitely something that I'm not, I'm not vibing with. And I don't know if this is like, I know a lot of people say like when they smell cheesecake, especially like blueberry cheesecake from Scentsy, they get like a sour note to it. And I don't know if like that is what I'm smelling in here that I can't detect, but I do not love that one. So we'll let it sit in here and see what I think. Because I was expecting to love it because I love blueberry, I love lemon, I love lemon bakery, I love blueberry bakery, and I love cheesecake scents. So I'm not sure. This one is pineapple upside down cake. And this is pineapple, brown sugar, vanilla, fluffy white cake, confectioner's sugar, cherry, and a hint of coconut, which is serendipity. Pineapple pound cake, or pineapple cake, and serendipity. So good. I will say, you definitely pick up on serendipity. Like, if she didn't put serendipity here, I would know there's serendipity in here. 100%. You can totally tell it smells like serendipity. But then mixed with the pineapple, it's not a crazy sharp in your face pineapple. It's like a bakery pineapple. But it is oh so yummy. Really like that. This was from her, like, what was it, the Tiffany's Originals collection or something like that. And they only were available in souffles or loaves. That's why I chose these. This is churro cakes. Cinnamon and sugar, funnel cake, and buttercream icing. Now, this to me is like red hot cinnamon. I was expecting it to be like a lighter cinnamon cake or like fried dough because of churro cake, but it's definitely like a red hot cinnamon cake. Yeah, I was expecting it to be more bakery cinnamon and less like uh, red hot cinnamon, but we'll see. I Like I said, I'm going to let these cure. This is sugared pear pie. This is brandied pear, brown sugar, pecan pie filling, pie crust, and whipped cream. This is really nice. I really like this. I wasn't expecting to love this. I don't know why. It's definitely a fall scent. Like, I find that pear definitely a fall fragrance. And the pear blended with the pie crust, it's really nice. The pear's a very crisp pear, a very fresh pear. Not necessarily like it's been baked and sugar-coated or anything. I find that the pear here is very much like a fresh picked pear. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty, though. Really, really excited for that one. And then last but not least, strawberry frosted sugar cookies. This is sweet strawberries, sugar cookies, and buttercream frosting. I love me some strawberry bakery. This leans very artificial strawberry. Yeah, it, it's definitely a more artificial strawberry, but it's also strawberry frosted sugar cookie. So when you're when you're thinking about it, like a frosted sugar cookie, like that's literally artificial. Like it's icing, sugary, so it's definitely authentic to what it should be. I was just maybe more expecting fresh picked strawberry, but I really, really like it. And for some reason, I don't know why, but as soon as I was smelling all of these. My instant brain said, I want to combine this with Milk of the Poppy. That super creamy Palo Santo blended with the strawberry frosted sugar cookie. I feel like that combo would be really good because the Palo Santo would sort of take away a little bit of the artificialness from the strawberry. I don't know. I might experiment with blending those. But that was my Teddy Bees haul. 
I'm very, very excited. I'm going to put these right back in the box they came in and add them to my shipping box because moving time is coming sooner and sooner and all this wax being super soft and delicate, I want it to arrive in my new place just as great as it arrived here. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Let me know if you ordered from the Teddy Bees restock or from the pre-order and if you plan on ordering from the restock. Are there scents that I ordered that you didn't or you did order and I didn't? Because I definitely want to know what you're loving, what I need to add to my list. I definitely want to add some backups from this order on the next one because there's some really standout favorites for me, especially like the Palo Santos, like I really, really, really like a lot of these blends, really impressed. As always, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell down below, that way you're alerted every time I upload a new video, and a new little end for me, do not let anyone dull your sparkle. They'll try, don't let them dull it. Have an amazing rest of your day, guys. Bye!